guys, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to 60 seconds! Gonna try and survive again! Some people were saying to me in the comments of the last one that survival mode you couldn't actually get to the end of. They said there was no way of surviving till the end and the military rescuing you or whatever. That's the goal of the game by the way! A lot of people were asking as well what the goal of all of this was. Was it just to survive as long as I wanted? No, you're supposed to be saved by the military but it seems to be very fucking hard to do. Um... But some are saying that survival mode was endless, and I don't think it is, because it just says Experience one of a kind post-apocalyptic adventure, survive in your fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies. It doesn't say, like, that it's endless or anything. Surely if it was, it would tell me. Um, it, and then other people were correcting them, saying that you could do all things and all modes and all difficulties, so... I don't know, hopefully everything goes well. I'm just gonna go in- I'm gonna do hard mode this time. I don't know what'll be different. Maybe we'll have no supplies, maybe people will die really quickly. But I want to change stuff up, I don't want it to get too repetitive. So, we'll see what happens. Oh! Um... No! I changed my mind! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not doing hard mode. Good god, I don't even have Mary Jane. Mary Jane is the thing that I want to happen. I want her to become a mutant. Pizza! Um, okay, we'll go in, we do a new game. Survival. Easy. I have to survive at least once! Well, I mean, I am surviving. I have to get out at least once. God damn game. It's a fun game, though. I still enjoy playing it, even though I don't survive every time. Good gun, good axe, flashlight, radio, all the shizzity sham, shibbity boop. All of made in the shelter, shelves are full of cans, a blah blah blah, who gives a hiddle haddle? Nobody cares at the start, you don't do anything good at the start. The start is boring. You just gotta get in. Survive. Get to day 10. Ted, you are a beard-growing magician. Timmy seems okay. Now I'm actually gonna feed and water them as soon as stuff pops up. I was doing that last time and they survived for a very long time until I sent them out into the wasteland and then some of them died. So, I might not do that this time. I might just keep them inside. Until I actually have to go outside. Because look at all the water I have. Mary Jane isn't worried. Timmy seems okay. Today's right. Everybody's glorious. Everybody's great people. I love you guys. Oh dear, we just remembered we plan on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't bomb warm places. Oh, from leaving off from the last episode, you guys are just the stupidest. Do a wolf fly? Could you bite Mary Jane? Turn her into a, a fly like Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> he was gross in that movie. A relocation- oh god, my mouse keeps doing that lately. My mouse on my keyboard. I had to install something new into my- I installed a new battery into my motherboard. Because the time on my computer kept, like, desyncing itself, so now it's fine. But, now my freaking mouse and keyboard keep cutting out. I think- I think I just need to reinstall drivers for the USB stuff. Anyway, a relocation is probably something- blah, 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 blah. Water is all Mary Jane needs, Timmy doesn't need much, you should drink. Dolores, water. Everybody drink! Drinky poos! There you go. Everybody watered. They're like cattle. We had some supply drops on the radio. This might be just what we need to survive. Go out! Somebody go out into the vast wilderness. Take those supply drops and come back with a big box full of goodies. Gas mask is broke. Please don't tell me you didn't find anything. We went out to get the supplies. The gas mask was a bit damaged. No taken. Did, did we get anything? Two and two! That's worth it! That's worth it! Dolores is quite calm. Ted is fine. Despite the circumstances, Timmy is great. And Mary Jane is nothing new happening. You are the best little family that th I could ever have. Really? Really? Come on, why right at the start? Fuck's sake. Every time. I'll save the radio. Break the flashlight. Even though the flashlight's what I need to find the dog and it's what I need to escape. But I can't escape without the radio either. And the radio's where I need to find out that the place isn't irradiated above. You know what? Fuck this game! We felt like something was staring at us from the corner of the shelter. We think it's a rat. At least it looks like a rat. A rat in a very good diet. Swing an axe at its face. Chop it off. Eat it! It'll save us meat and tomato soup all the time. The axe is fine. There's no rats. Everybody's grand. Nice! Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. You gotta always watch out for your nasty little holes. Can we spare some water for Mary Jane? Timmy something to drink. Water. Water. 
Everybody wants water. There you go, family. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We do hope this whole mess will be over soon, or else we might up and end up in a place much worse than this cozy shelter. Yeah, we might end up in some place terrible, like not this nice cozy little shelter with all the food and water. Assholes, they're not, not even grateful for the stuff that we have. Uh, please, something cool happen. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. Everyone has to drink water, 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 and water. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be giving you stuff right as it pops up. Um, okay, yeah, listen to the radio. We'll get some signals in. Also, I want to take, like, this series and this opportunity to talk about a few things on the channel. Because I don't want to, like, front load the channel with vlogs all the time talking about, like, different topics. I can just work them into videos. And this is more of a long form thing. We knew it, the government has not fallen to come to save us. They didn't give us the exact radio transmission, but we're sure they keep us waiting long. They said they'd be in touch in a couple of days, told us to wait for instructions. Nice. Fine. Fine. Fine, fine. Um, yeah, so I wanted to say, like, some people lately have been talking about some of the indie games that I've been playing, and I've talked about it before, that <laughs> it was funny, because we're like, can you stop playing indie games and play stuff like Turbo Discman, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, and Goat Simulator? It's like, those are all indie games! <laughs> it seems like some people don't know what an indie game actually is. This is an indie game, and everyone loves this, but, like, not everything that I'm playing has to turn into a series either. So, like, everything has serious potential, unless it's, I finished the game in one video. But, like, not everything has to go on for 20 episodes, like Subnautica or whatever. I know some people would like that with every game that I play, but not every game can do that. Some games I start, I want to do it into a series, and then people don't really care for the game, so I'm like, you know what, scrap it. I'm not gonna force you guys to watch something that you don't wanna watch. So, like, it, there's ins and outs of it, so, like, not everything I do has to turn into a very long series. Some games have one episode, some games have two or three, and some go on for 20, so let's just have fun with what goes up on the channel instead of worrying about what things could be or what things are not. Yeah, it's all about fun and moving forward. We were sure we'd look through it some supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seat. Nope. 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 I learned from last time. Nope. Bury that seed in... No, actually, no, don't bury it because it might grow. <laughs> There are plenty of better ways to use our water. Drinking comes to mind, so Mary Jane will have to think of another way to occupy herself. Yeah! Like, turn into a mutant! I love the music in this game. It's very, like... Have you ever seen that episode of Family Guy where it's like, Oh, I got an extra job following a fat guy around with a tuba. It's like... Wah, bah, 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 bah. It's very, like... Sluggish kind of music. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, what's going on? They spit all over my own face. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> as long as we're safe, we can stay down here. It's impressive how well the Lord is the blood. It's morning's camp. Everybody's grand. Everybody's fine. Today, an army broadcast interrupted our, let's call it, breakfast, even though we didn't eat. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us away from here, but there were several things we needed to happen before they do. We were given geographical coordinates. Use that map, yo! Use that map and go find everything. The map's gonna be tattered now, isn't it? It's fine! So what happened? A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. That is, that's so primitive. Is, is it any wonder I can't survive with you people? You're so stupid! Water's what Mary Jean needs most. Water and water. Timmy, you better come back with good shit soon. How you guys doing, huh? Day 27? Day 27, how's everybody doing? Yeah, big smiles, happy faces. Mary Jane, everybody else is like, I hate this, and Mary Jane's like, I've seen some shit! Ah, I broke my radio! Well, that didn't go well, and we broke the damn thing. Technology changes so fast these days, it's hard to keep up. Who needs a radio anyway? It just said they wanted to listen to music, and now it's broken? You turned a knob, you might as well have just smashed it against the wall. No, we initially thought it was thunder. It turned out to be a heavy knock on the door. Someone either hates that door, or is very determined to have someone answer it. Open the door. Please, give me something. Be military. Save me. Raiders. It was Raiders. If, uh, is the end. Fuck! I would say that I'm bad at this game, but I seem to just have rotten luck. Okay, if someone comes banging on the door again, don't open it. That's a mistake I've made twice now. I forgot what the banging on the door meant. God fucking damn it! Ted, you've gone crazy on day eight. 
Really? You are not fit for the apocalypse to begin with. If you're if you're crazy after eight days. <laughs> it's only been a week, dude! Where do you get the fucking eyes for the sock puppets as well? Crazy people! Okay, they're saying you bother Mary Jane, no good news. No news is good news. Ted has gone crazy. Fantastic. Okay, day 14 and we make contact. The military's out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do is wait patiently. That's what I've been doing. The soldier with the boring voice is very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions to keep our radio in working order. Okay, radio is really important right now. Ted, you're hungry. So eat a can of soup and you'll be fine. Let's space down here, we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today, we revealed a hole, we felt it was pretty sick, the smell come from- oh, I can't remember what this does! Yes! Oh, don't be a bad thing! Don't be a bad thing! The fucking radio's busted! How?! We approached the hole cautiously and peeked inside, what happened next nearly give us a heart attack, some crazed rodent and a reptile, this crazy mad creatures. You jumped out and broke the radio the day after I just said I had to keep it in work in order. Oh, fuck you! We don't think Dolores is coming back from the surface. It's been too long. A fire broke out. I used the scout book to try and fix it. And it burned my med kit. I'm not gonna survive. There's just, there's no fucking way. It never works! Yay! I used the flashlight and the glowing eyes. We decided to check out what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog! Can't remember what his name is. I think he actually does have a name on the forums. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. The dog, I think you can actually get to come into your shelter with you. Or at least he keeps coming back, or if you feed him or whatever, he might bring you supplies. I don't know, but the dog is a good thing, I remember. We're afraid Timmy came back from the wasteland safe with us now. And he's not sick! For oh, he probably scra scra scraped and scratched, scrapped his arm. Before leaving our neighborhood, expedition scavengers. Okay, you got two waters and you got a med kit. Good job, Timmy. Barking at our doorstep can only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. Not caring for hazards of the wasteland, we rushed to open it and there he was. The poor thing seemed tired. Yeah, gonna feed him. I'm gonna keep feeding this dog and hopefully he does stuff. Okay, I don't know if he actually comes into the shelter or not. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was- Ah, oh, Pancake, that was his name. Yeah, I knew it began with a P, but I didn't know what it was, I was gonna call him Piddles. <laughs> Come here, Pancake, who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We can bet he will be back. Hopefully we can keep this going. Okay, so everybody needs to drink. Timmy, I fucking knew you scratched your hand. I'm gonna use the med kit to save you. Hopefully that's enough. Why you go scratching your hands on things? Do you just go up and go bleh, and rub your fucking hands all over everything? Here's the first egg, flies, choice, blah blah blah. He's young, strong, so you don't have doubts to recover soon. Okay, so he's fine. Good. Hey, it's Pancake. A friend is back, but he seems very nervous and he keeps barking and jumping. When we opened the door, he rushed only to come back. He rushed out only to come back a moment later and bark at us again. Maybe we should follow him. What gear should we take? I would take a map, but it's broken, so I'm gonna take a gun. Oh! That's what happened. Ted's all scraped up. Did anything happen? The old saying goes, better safe than sorry. The rifle seems to be the right choice of gear for venturing into the unknown. We didn't expect to run into trigger happy foe who started shooting before asking questions. Gunshots were enough to send Pancake running. We got safely back, but he didn't show up. The dog's gone now. Great! This is insane! We keep finding spiders everywhere! They're in our soup! They're in our water! We swear some of them keep coming back! No! I'm not doing anything! I'm not doing anything! Turn Mary Jane into a mutant, please! Yeah! Yeah! Fucking finally! Mary Jane, you beast! Look at her go! Oh, thank God! That's all I wanted to happen! I'm so glad I recorded a second, like another session of this after the first one failed. Oh, finally! Something new and good! We decided we could get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use. Fortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast and we all achieved getting blah, blah, blah. During our vicious fight with dozens of spiders, we got lucky and bit Mary Jane. One got lucky and bit Mary Jane. It didn't seem serious. We got up the morning, she was different. Uh, M M Mary Jane, you looking okay there? P puberty hit hard, didn't it? <laughs> okay. It's always better than things are calm. Mary Jane, apparently she just needs to eat every now and then, but she's a beast against everything. Timmy might not look it, but he's a strong young boy. Ted is fine. Okay. Oh my god, Mary Jane, you brought back a radio. 
Oh, you sexy beast! Yeah? Yeah! Maybe we can actually tune in and get the fuck out of here then! We were able to catch the military broadcast again! This time they're asking us to get out with a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets sacked. Yes! Do it! Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Okay, good. 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 We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes, and told us they would come back to get us. We can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. I sent Mary Jane out to meet them as well, so I sent out a mutant to meet them. Also, Timmy's dead. <laughs> He didn't come back. I didn't realize that until it said, Who do you want to send out? And it was like, Oh, okay, Timmy's not coming back then. Uh, Mary Jane's like, She's a little food, and Ted's not complaining. Okay. I think this might be the one. I think this might be the one that, uh, that saves us. Um, should I send somebody out? Yeah. No, no. I won't, I won't send anybody out. Because uh, people might come and attack us. I'll wait a little bit. What? No. No! Mary Jane is gone! We have no idea what happened to her! This is odd, she's a hard one to miss. No! It just said... It just said talk to her! We tried to communicate with her, but we just couldn't get on the same page. She seemed quite upset. In the morning she was gone, she left us a note which read... We hope she's okay. Fuck! Oh shit, I really hope the military arrives soon. Come on, I'm so close! Day 100! And there seems to be no end in sight. This is getting tedious! Come on, Ted's hungry and needs water, and he's crazy. And there's shit going on outside. So I'm not gonna use your fucking axe to cut your beard, you'll be fine. The end! <gasps> Rescue time! Yes! Did I do it? The end! We survived for- wait! Is that good? I got rescued time- uh, you're military soldiers, right? Did they survive? Please tell me. You- you survive- Yes! Finally! Fucking Jesus! Oh god, it took forever! Oh, I did it! Yeah! Oh! You have no idea how relieved I am. And that was a thing, it said somebody is banging on the door, we can't hear what they're saying, should we open it? And I said no the first time, I could have been rescued! Oh, thank god. When it said the end, normally when you finish it and you survive, it says you survived instead of the end. At least I thought it did. And that's what I was waiting for, so when it said the end, I thought I was dead for opening the door. Oh, thank God, finally! It already took six, seven episodes to do it, but I finally did it. And you can see I did survival mode on easy, and I managed to get Mutant Mary Jane, and I managed to survive after a hundred and something days. So it can be done! All of you who are saying that I couldn't survive on survival mode, or I couldn't get Mutant Mary Jane in survival mode, you're all wrong! I just did it! <laughs> oh, thank god! I don't think I'm gonna do any more episodes in this game then, because that's all I wanted to do! All I wanted to do was survive and get it done! There's not really anything else that I can do that's gonna be worthwhile, so I don't see the point in doing it, I might just end the series now. Unless they update the game and they change something completely about it, I probably won't be coming back to it, but it's a really fun game, I had a really great time with it, and I'm really glad all you guys enjoyed it, and I'm so glad that I managed to get all the, the good things out of it. Oh, thank god. Also, I'm sorry if my microphone went weird, like, a bit way through this. Some, something weird happened with my recording, my microphone stopped recording in Audacity, so it might turn to this, I might turn to the camcorder audio a bit in the middle, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna edit in and what, I, ed what I'll edit out by now, because I'm recording for an hour and a half, just to get that, but... Oh, thank god! Survived! Mutant Mary Jane! Best episode ever! But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode! If you liked it, punch that like button in the face! Like a boss! And... Hi, boys, all around! Whoosh! Whoosh! But thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes! What are you waiting for?! You wouldn't believe how great the gas mileage is on this bike. It's like up to here. <laughs> That's really cool. I love your taste in bikes and also your face. Your bike is stupid and I hate your stupid. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so glad I stuck with it. Woo!